The first step is to install the wheels. Use B6 screws. The positive electrode of the battery. The cell is placed on the left. Put in the epoxy plate. Check whether the positive and negative electrodes of the battery cell are correct. Okay, so step three. Using B13 screws. The next step is to install the beads. Use B for screws. Apply anaerobic glue to the screws. Its function is to make the screw not easy to loosen. Using B10 screws. Use torque wrench detection. Keep each screw about the same force. Torque maintained at 8 to 1 on. Then start wiring. When picking up, start from line 1. Each wire has the serial number 01 to 3 for on it. We'll pick up from this line one, B-O here. B, one screw. Mount to a short connecting piece. Take the second one after picking up the first one. The second one is B1. The third line is B2. The first one is finished. Then connect the second line too. Line two is from this. B5 starts. The last line of line two, B8, connects to this location. Then line three.
There is also a B8 here. Connect to the same location. The last line of this line, 4. Connect to the positive electrode with the power cord. with B for screws. Use B to screws for the following two. Then install the BMS board with B14 screws. Long connect below, short on top. Line 1 is inserted into the leftmost face. The ladder lines 2, 3, and 4 will be connected in turn. Next, install the control panel. Use B5 screws. Use B9 screws. Installation of ground connection B11. Install the controller, short to the top. Use B for screws.
Use B1 screws. Installation of the display. Use B13 screws. Use B3 screws. Next step in organizing the line. The black one is the temperature line. Position one, two, three, four. Check the wiring when you ray done. Use B8 screws. With B2 screws. Final step to encapsulate the cover.
USB 3 screws and install the screws from the end first. 